taking us real slow. This is day three of rain for us. And we're told that we're supposed to have rain until um, Thursday of this next week. Today is Saturday. And it let loose pretty good last night. I guess we had some winds because a couple came into the shelter and um, took a nap because they said there was a big old branch that blew down real close to their tent. And I was going to try and catch Janet, a picture of Janet here, two knees. But she's, she's a woman on a mission because we're going to a parking lot that's not a quarter mile from where we're at. And going to see if we can get a shuttle to go to town, back to the hostel we were at before to get things dried out. So i just giving you a little bit of the, the wet mucky trail. Here I'll talk and show that we are in rain gear. There's Mama Squirrel. Hey, Mama Squirrel. She's all semi-dry, covered in her dry poncho. And uh, I'm in my poncho. And I'm going to shut this off because it's very mucky and I don't want to slip and fall and get dirty. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Okay, so we made it to the parking lot and we have no signal. And we walked down the road for a little bit and figured out that it's probably 18, no, nine miles to Parisburg. And we walked nine miles yesterday. Actually, we walked 11 miles yesterday, right? 11 and a half. 11 and a half. And so, pouring down torrential rain. Yep. We were tired, wet, sore from falling multiple times. And we prayed that there would be room in the hostel for us. The shelter. I mean, in the shelter, and praise the Lord, we there was uh, room for four people, and we were three, so we were blessed to get in there and uh, slept pretty good. Yep. So now we are moving on to the next shelter, which is Bailey Gap Shelter, I think, or yeah, something Bailey like that. Yeah, Bailey Gap Shelter. Yeah, it's only four miles down the way, so it'll be a short day, but that's okay. We'll get in, and we'll get shelter, and we'll get dry again. Regroup and regroup and continue on so there you go all right check with you later Okay, there's Mama Squirrel. That could be lavender. Anyways, we are walking through some farmland here. Been walking through farmland from the other side of those trees there. And that mountain, we started on the other side of that today. We're only doing a short hike of 6.3 miles. Um, because our other option was to do 16.8 for our slack pack pickup. So we opted to do the smaller mileage today. And then tomorrow we'll do 10 and a half miles. Anyways, it is just a gorgeous day today. And this farmland is just too pretty to not video. And so... We're on the uphill now and we're finishing going through the farmland. We're gonna continue hiking the trail up into those woods and we go over this little hill here down to the other side and then we're done for the day. So we'll catch y'all later. Good morning everyone. 
Today is Monday, June 3rd. We're still in Virginia and I'm back on trail after a week off letting my right ankle heal. I had started out hiking back in March and before March 26th actually and before the end of March I had rolled my ankle pretty bad six times. So I had been walking on that ankle for a long time adding miles on it and so what happened was I did a long day and I was rushing to get to the hiker picnic and uh, yeah in the middle of the night I woke up and I couldn't um, even walk on it so I worried I tore something and I went ahead and went to the local ER had an x-ray to make sure nothing was broken and decided it just was a bad sprain maybe a few, a few micro tears but all in all all is good so I'm slack packing with mama squirrel right there hi hey, mama squirrel and uh, we are ahead of our tramley which of course is rambling rose and Rex and we've added two new members which is shade and her dog Moxie. So we'll get a picture of the tramley when we get back at the hostel today. Woo! We're going uphill, but we're on a road. And even though we're going uphill, the reason why it's so hard is because our bellies are so full from <laughs> breakfast. We had amazing home cooked meal by Neville at Woods Hole Hostel. Amazing place. Super clean. Super nice people. And uh, just an awesome place to kick back. Alright. I'm going to start walking seriously now. And I'll check in later. Bye now. Hello. The group has caught up and hiked ahead. I wanted to show you what we're hiking through. This is so pretty. The trail is pretty kind and gentle. Not a lot of rocks, roots, branches, some, not bad. Um, this little stuff is easy to walk on. It's when you hit a boulder or a sharp rock or a stump that you can't see, that becomes a problem. Here in Virginia, well, there's lots of greenery and the trees lose their leaves, then in that area, then the leaves are crushed and you can't see what's under them. That's when I literally am watching every step I take with my right foot to make sure I don't twist it, I land on a real stable surface and not re-injure my ankle. Okay, now we're getting into very high growth here. Now I'm going to need to pay attention. We're starting to do a little rock scrambles. So I'm going to go ahead and check out, but I wanted to show you this. This is kind of, you think it's not very deep, but it literally is up to my shoulders so you're walking through literally a green tunnel it's nice and cool today the temperature is about oh high 60s or low 70s with a nice breeze very nice okay check in with you later so yesterday I was talking about how difficult it is to hike as you can see, there's sh shadows here, and there's all these leaves that are covering these rocks. This is the hardest part for me to hike because I can't see where the rock is, and I'm very concerned about twisting an ankle. So this is very slow going for me today, and I've got 10, well, almost 12 miles to hike today. So, alrighty, I just thought I'd share that with you.
This is called Angel's Rest Rock. And I could understand why. Look at this. It is just beautiful. I'm standing right here. And if you look down, I'm on the edge. Not really on the edge because that right right there, that rock right there, that definitely is the ledge that goes down to there. Yeah, you and me both. You don't call me Wobble Weeble for nothing. Okay, this is Angel's Rest Hiker's Haven. This is where you check in at the little shed. Then there's a parking over here. And this is where people who work here, they live in these trailers. And one guy lives in his van. And hi, wave to the camera. <laughs> and this is the bell that you ring when you get here and nobody's at, in the little office. There's a little hammock there. That I think the guy that runs it sleeps there. This is the two car garage that has been, or looks as big enough for a two car garage, that's been converted into a hiker um, hostel which has 16 bunks, um, double decker bunks. That is the shower house that has each door has a toilet sink and shower, and that is the main group area trailer that you can meet and watch TV, cook some meals, that kind of thing. Has a full kitchen and what have you. Then the room that you sleep in looks like this. Has loaner clothes there so that you can shower and get your clothes cleaned and laundered. And there's little Moxie. Hey Moxie, wave to the camera. And more loaner clothes over there. All right, that's pretty much what this hostel is all about. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Today's a short hike. We're actually almost done with it. It's going to be a 6.3. And we are hiking our last mile and a half. And the trail's been really, really nice. This is kind of what we're hiking through. And we just came out of the forest right there. And the rest of the 360 here. And that small squirrel. Just crossed the first meadow and walked into yet another on the other side of this tree line. Right there. 
reptiles in California, but these just look a lot happier. Good morning everyone, two knees here. Um, we are back on trail with our full packs. We've been slack packing for the last week um, for everybody's injuries to heal and for us to get some miles in. We slack packed about 60 plus miles. And now we're back on trail um, with our full packs. Our tramley's almost together. We have one more member to pick up at McAfee Knob, which is where we're headed right now. And then what I wanna show you is way Point to your left. left. Right up there, see that jagged rocks? That's called Dragon Tooth. We climbed that yesterday and it took us, it was an amazing climb. It took us forever to get up there and navigate those rocks and we were slack packing it and I was so grateful because that's how far we've come in one day this far. All right, we'll check in with you later. We've got something to show you, and I hope you're all having a good day out there. Good morning everyone. Today is Monday, June 17th, and we are hiking Troutville. And this is the town of Troutville. And it's a spectacular view from up here. We have a eight, nine mile hike to get there. It seems so funny because it's like right there, but walking and driving are obviously two very different things. But um, I just want you to see what I see and oh my gosh, the camera just does not do it justice. It doesn't. Okay, here we go. We're going up. Up. And back into, woo, the mountains. Save two knees. <laughs> and there's Mama Squirrel, who's coming up behind us. Up these nice little steps. Yep, it's an upwards to the next shelter. In Parisburg, there's Mama Squirrel. And two knees leading the way. We're walking along a major highway that goes in and out of Harrisburg. So it's noisy and smelly, but hey, the trail's taking us back to the mountains up there. 